Hello, it's Nancy from InMotion. In this video, which was a viewer's request, I'll show you how to use the Shapes tool to create shapes and then add or subtract sections from them. Lastly, we'll look at how we can make a rounded rectangle. Over here in the toolbar is where we have all our different shapes. I'm going to go with the ellipse one. To make a circle, make sure that when you drag out, you hold the shift key and this will maintain its aspect ratio, creating a perfect circle. Every time you create a shape, it will be created as a new layer. So how do we combine a shape with another one? Well, what you need to do is to go up here to the options bar and you'll see here that it says we're on a new layer. So we need to change that to Unite. So click on that, then come back and drag out another circle. And you'll see that now they are connected. Don't worry about these lines. Those are just the path lines for our shape. So let me just show you that these are now connected. Let me get the move tool and as I drag them around, you can see that the second circle has been added to the first. If I want, I can also use the transform controls to adjust the position of the second circle. I can squish it and I can also rotate it. I think I'll add a different shape to this also. So let me get a rectangle. Now that I've chosen a rectangle, PhotoP goes back to the default of new layer. So if I draw my rectangle now, you'll see that over here in the layers panel, I have a new layer just with my rectangle on it. And when I try to move things around, the rectangle obviously isn't attached. So let me step back in time in the history panel. Select the rectangle again, and then make sure that I'm on Unite. Now, when I draw my rectangle, everything should be attached. Hooray! So that's all about adding things. Let's look at subtracting shapes out of this masterpiece. Let's choose the parametric shape and make sure that I am on subtract. Now I can draw out the shape And as you can see, a chunk has been taken away. Let me take out a circular part now. Beautiful. While we're at it, let's have a look at what Intersect does. It's easier to just show you. There it is. Our shape is now just the overlap or the intersection of parts of the other shapes I selected. Let me step back in the history and show you what Exclude does. I like Exclude. Where it goes into another shape, it takes that bit out and it only fills up where it hasn't intersected or overlapped. You can create a lot of cool patterns. It's quite addictive. OK, back to the tutorial. Let's look at making a rounded rectangle. Again, I'm just stepping back in history because I can. So let's draw out a rectangle. Now click on the Properties tab here and you'll see this. At the top, these numbers just relate to the size of our rectangle. But to change the corners so that they're not square but rounded, we need to enter values into these boxes where it says Keep Aspect Ratio. Whatever number you put in here will be applied to all four sides. So just play around with the values until you get what you're looking for. If you want to have one corner that is slightly different, then you need to uncheck the same radii box. Now I'll put a higher number, such as 120, just in the top right-hand corner. 
press enter and now you see how the corner has changed. Now in the bottom left hand corner I'll put 120 again. OK, so that's a quick look at shapes. Hope it helps and please like and subscribe to the channel for future tutorials. Bye for now.